brothers and neighbors, Tommy and Lee Smith, and it uprooted that apple tree. Taking a look at their properties, trees uprooted and snapped in half. Like a pencil, it's just unheard of. Family coming by to see the damage. They're helping out today, which is a good help. But it's a sad day for the Smiths. In between their homes, a 200-year-old barn. Father farmed this land forever. In their family for generations. It's hard to visualize this after all these years, you know. NBC5 first warning meteorologists say severe thunderstorms packed wind gusts over 60 miles per hour in Fort Covington Monday around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Everything just started blowing and it sounded like a train coming through for a brief time and that's what really got me scared a little bit. Tommy waited until it was safe to go out to see the barn's damage. Just stunning to see that flattened out. Uh, I never thought that barn would come down in my lifetime. And it did. Lee was at work. His wife was home with the grandkids. She was crying and all, and you know, scared, scared the daylights out of her. Calling it a fierce and intense time that seemed to only affect them and another neighbor this way. Like a swoop deal. Yeah, it's just a narrow. It was just a narrow window of intensity. Scary, of course, but with a cracked windshield, homes looking okay, and loved ones safe, they're feeling grateful. We're very fortunate. Nobody got hurt in this. Yeah. Uh, Certainly, it's the, the intensity of that storm, if somebody had been outside, uh, who knows what could have happened. So we are thanking God today that nobody got hurt in this storm, certainly. In Fort Covington, Elena Barilla, NBC5 News.